how do you how do you have uncomfortable conversation about asking for a raise? Why is that uncomfortable? Because you haven't done it enough times to feel comfortable doing it, right? Now, this is something I teach in my class, and I'll try to keep this short, but very poignant. Your boss has no trouble walking into a conversation about the money he makes or she makes. Am I right? I doubt your boss is sitting there like, oh, I don't want to ask for too much. Oh, let's see, six digits. Oh, they're, they're going to balk. They're going to push back. I don't know if I can do all that. Uh, I'm worth it, but I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> Maybe I'll say 95. Then that way, it won't hurt as much in six months when I get the six digits. Stop it. We're professionals. In fact, most of us are experts at the administrative operational role. Treat yourself accordingly. Stop it with all this, this, this second thoughts and second guesses. My thing is this. If they think, think about it, what's the difference between let's say $90,000 a year and ten thousand or $100,000 a year, $10,000. Who has a calculator on them or a calculator um, additing, add, did I say additing? Oh my God. <laughs> Happy Monday. Um, $10,000 divided by 2080, go. So scream it out. What is it? $4.80? So you're telling me I'm not worth $4.80 an hour more. Explain. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. I use this and I teach this. It's the best way to get a raise. Whatever you're asking for above what you're making right now, divide that shit by 2080, put it on a sheet. Of course, add in all of what the market is paying, the market and the true market, not that bullshit, you know, ooh, glass door says between. <laughs> Stop it, you know, and and figure out what that number is. And it usually ends up being like anywhere from like, you know, 480 to like $7 an hour. Put that right back on the table. Like, so you're telling me I'm not worth $6.50 an hour or more. Explain. I'll wait. <laughs> Fucks them up. It's awesome. It's awesome. 